Until recently, almost all the information we had on the universe came in the form of light, radio waves and other forms of electromagnetic radiation. But now we have a new window on the cosmos thanks to our ability to detect gravitational waves. The existence of these waves was first predicted by Albert Einstein following the publication in 1916 of his General Theory of Relativity. In this theory, gravity is seen to be the result of the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass. A familiar analogy is to imagine the surface of space-time being like the taut rubber sheet of a trampoline. Put a heavy object on the rubber sheet and it makes a dip in it into which anything nearby will tend to roll. If someone jumps up and down on the trampoline, they make the rubber sheet vibrate. In the same way, violent movements of large concentrated masses cause disturbances in the fabric of space-time. Among the strongest gravitational waves are those produced by neutron stars or black holes that orbit around each other at close range and then collide. In fact, the first gravitational waves to be detected directly on Earth in 2015 came from a pair of black holes 1.3 billion light-years away that collided and merged. One of the black holes was 29 times as massive as the Sun, the other one 36 times as massive. As they orbited each other, losing energy by radiating gravitational waves, their orbits shrank until they were whizzing around each other at close to the speed of light. Finally they met, forming a single black hole with 62 times the Sun's mass. In the instant they met, three suns worth of matter were converted into gravitational waves so that for a few tenths of a second the energy in those waves was greater than the energy of all the light in the visible universe. 1.3 billion years later the ripples from that event reached a detector on Earth and scientists effectively saw gravitational waves for the first time. The detector is called LIGO which stands for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. LIGO consists of two identical facilities, one in Louisiana and one in Washington State. The twin facilities consist of an L-shaped detector with two arms, each four kilometers long. A laser beam is split and sent down each of the arms. The beams then reflect back and forth before being recombined and sent to a light detector. If the light waves line up, they cancel each other out and no light is registered at the detector. If a gravitational wave passes through though, the distortion it creates changes the length of the arms. This causes the light waves to misalign so that they no longer cancel and the result is a measurable signal. The distortion caused by gravitational waves, even those coming from the most violent events in the universe, is tiny. In fact, LIGO is the most sensitive instrument ever built, capable of detecting a change in the length of each of its four kilometer arms smaller than one ten thousandth the diameter of a proton. That sensitivity is equivalent to measuring the distance to Alpha Centauri, the nearest star to the Sun, to an accuracy of a few microns. Since 2015, more gravitational wave events have been detected, both by LIGO in the United States and the Virgo interferometer near Pisa in Italy. All are believed to be due to the merger of two black holes, two neutron stars, or a black hole and a neutron star. Gravitational wave astronomy is still in its infancy, but as time goes on it will add to our knowledge of the most powerful and violent phenomena in the universe including pairs of supermassive black holes in the heart of some galaxies, supernovas, and events in the first instance after the universe came into being. <laughs>